Today, I wanna walk you through four of my favorite LinkedIn automations that I've personally sold for thousands of dollars. And if you build systems like this, maybe you can too. So this first one here, this is a Telegram voice bot that's all designed to create viral LinkedIn posts. I'm gonna show you how it works and then I'm gonna walk you through the system. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click execute workflow and I'm gonna come over to Telegram and I'm just gonna say, ChatGPT5 recently came out. We need to make a viral LinkedIn post on this. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and send it off. And you can see here basically what the system is doing. It's transcribing our recording to get the voice message. And you can see here, ChatGPT recently came out. We need to bake a viral LinkedIn post on this. And hopefully the system is smart and will understand what we're saying. So from there, this passes it over to ChatGPT4 search preview. You can use perplexity or whatever you want for this. And so basically here, what we're doing is we're just piping in the transcription from this transcribe recording. And we're just putting this in the prompt here. And then we basically just have this research prompt. It just says, you're a helpful research assistant. Given a topic, your task is to research the following. And then we want some recent statistics, find current numerical insights. We want some case studies and real world examples, some expert opinions, and some competing content analysis. So anything that might go against the grain, because that stuff always performs really, really well. So we want to make sure our posts are really thorough. So you can see over here, we basically have all of the research that's done for us. And so now we're just taking that research and we're piping it into this post writer here. Basically, we're sending over to the post writer the topic which is basically our uh, message from the transcription from Telegram. And then here is just all the research that ChatGPT did for us. And so basically in order to get this, we're just piping in the content from the research here. And then we just have a system prompt that basically outlines exactly how we want to structure the post. This is based off of like viral proven frameworks that work for LinkedIn posts. If you come over to my LinkedIn, you can see literally a day ago, I used this framework to generate almost 12,000 impressions. And I only have a following of like 4,500 people. So this is pretty good. And then the last thing it does is this automatically posts to LinkedIn. So really cool. If I come back over here to my account, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the page here. And you can basically see that we have this brand new post that literally just posted one minute ago. If we open this up, we can see 99% of professionals missed this AI breakthrough. ChatGPT5 Chat launched three days ago, and it's already changing everything. So this is a really great way to use LinkedIn. Like if you're on the go and you just have a thought or you have a great conversation with a friend, you can basically talk to Telegram on your phone. This will connect to your phone. You have a viral LinkedIn post all ready to go. This is something great for personal use, or you could easily sell this to a client. This next automation, this is a big workflow. This is actually three different workflows, and basically it's just designed to do a couple of things. So this first workflow here is it takes an R. RSS feed. And so basically this just takes a big list of websites and you can see here we've actually created some RSS feeds in here. It basically just goes through the feed one at a time. And each one of these feeds may have a hundred or a thousand different articles any given day. So we're just going to bring this through here and we're basically just going to get the HTML content of that website. We're going to clean it up a little bit and then we're just going to use ChatGPT to summarize that article. So from here, it just says you are a helpful, intelligent summarizer assistant. Your task is to identify the main body text of the article and create a detailed summary. Then from there, we're just going to store that information inside of a database. So if we come over here, I have something like this. And this is one of my best selling automations for clients. Clients love something like this because they can basically take news that's like relevant in their field or their industry or their niche, and they can turn that into viral content or at least trendy content for any of their social channels. So it basically just stores everything inside of here. And you can see like Microsoft's bold AI bet with open AI. And then here's this little summary. We have a link if we want to go to the article and things like that. And then from here, basically your client can select which platforms they want to write for. They can come in here. They can have their own brand guidelines, tone of voice guidelines, and things like that, like how they write their speaking style. Clients love this type of things, any sort of style and prompt generation for any images. If we're going to generate images with the posts, like this can go here. And so again, clients really love to be able to customize this to themselves. And then from here, we just have the actual writer and you would set this to write on like a schedule. And I just have this set to run like every day at 7 a.m. And basically what this system does is it's going to go into your database. It's going to grab a single post that you've basically, you know, selected like, yeah, like I want to write to LinkedIn. So basically it's going to say, yeah, like I've written to LinkedIn. We're going to come in here. We're going to perform a very similar type of research with the headline and the summary. This should feel really familiar to you, right? Recent stats, case studies, expert opinions, competing content, right? Similar type of research. I love this kind of research. I will reuse these systems over and over again, or at least the pieces, because if they work, don't fix what's, what ain't broken, right? So we're going to actually send the prompt over to the researcher to do that research for us. Then from here, we're actually just pulling in a writing framework from the brand guidelines. We're sending this to a LinkedIn writer that just says, please craft a LinkedIn post based on the following news story and additional research. Focus on the article headline and summary. And then we're just pulling in the headline and summary from our database and then pulling in the additional research that our researcher just did. 
So we're basically taking the concept of the article plus the additional research, which is going to like enrich our posts and give us like a different spin or a different take. We're not just going to be reciting the article that already exists. And then we're just going to come in here and there's a basic system prompt because this is pulling in the writing framework for any one of our platforms and just says never use asterisk or markdown formatting. So this is a really, really basic system prompt. And if you want, I can just go ahead and open up these frameworks here so you can kind of get a sense of what they are. And we can see you're an expert at LinkedIn and skilled in crafting impactful copy using the problem agitate solve framework. And so I just have four of these little frameworks. And so basically you like state the problem here, a strong attention conviction statement. You agitate this, you elaborate on the consequences or negative outcomes associated with this problem. And then you solve it, you present your solution, right? So this is just one of four frameworks that the system kind of randomly chooses from to write your post content. And then this branch right here is basically just all designed to generate an image. So we're identifying what the topic is. We're creating an image prompt based off of the style and again this is in our brand brand guidelines this is just pulling in from all these styles here it's creating the image using chat gpt4 you have to save it to google drive so it's publicly accessible we're storing back in here with the written content and the image and so if we were to open up one of these here you can see we basically have linkedin copy that's written down here and if we come all the way down here we have the image prompt that we use and we actually have the image that chat gpt generated for us ai replacing entry level jobs and this is in a style that's like on brand for the client or for you if you kind of set the style prompts you know up to be for your personal brand and the last thing on the bottom so this should feel familiar just the last workflow in here is set to run on a schedule and this just auto posts to your linkedin platform and so it basically just determines whether or not there's an image or if it's a text only post and if there's an image it's just going to publish to linkedin with the text from the database plus the image if there is no image it's just going to take the text and publish that to linkedin text only so number three this is super cool this is actually one of my favorites and i don't know if i've showed this off before this is actually a linkedin parasite system so the idea of this system is to grab posts from other creators in your niche grab the ones that are performing performing well and then repurpose their content in your tone of voice in your style so you have a better chance of going viral because you're sort of piggybacking off of what's already working so this top route here is basically just getting all of the posts from any given content creator so if we come into this other database here you can basically see these are all the scraped posts and and this is coming from greg eisenberg and so if you're in the ai space you probably know who greg eisenberg is and this is one of his linkedin posts and so it grabs the post text here it also grabs all the stats like the comments the likes and the shares and then if i come into another one of these posts here you can see it's also actually going to pull in the image that he posted with the post this one's super small let's see if i can find one that has um, a bigger image like if i come in here you can see we have this bigger image the vintage iphone vintage case so that's kind of funny this second part here is really where all the magic happens and so it's designed to mimic the format and the content of the original post it's also designed to take the style of the image and create a new image based off of the new post that you're creating. So basically we're just getting a record here. Again, we're getting one of these posts from Greg in our case that already exists, that's already performing well. And this AI agent here is just taking the original post. And again, I'm using my personal tone of voice guidelines. You can customize this for a client. We're giving it some, you know, more do, do not do this, right? Uh, some things that it should not do. And then we have this agent prompt here, which is, you know, you're a LinkedIn expert and professional copywriter. You'll be provided with the text of an existing LinkedIn post. You have to complete the following steps exactly as described. So it's going to analyze the original posts. It's going to extract the content, the themes, the purpose, the value. And then from there, it's going to search the knowledge base. So I actually have created a knowledge base inside of Pinecone, which basically has information about me, my personal brand, my philosophy, like anything from my YouTube videos and things like that. So it basically likes to take Greg's original post and all of the content and like my perspective on things and bring these together to create a brand new post. From there, it's going to analyze the image using ChatGPT. It's going to create a new image prompt based off of the image analysis plus the newly written prompt that again comes from over here. And then we're just creating an image with ChatGPT and storing this all back inside the database. And so if we come over to my posts here, you can basically see that we open this up here and this is the newly written post. Every brand wants to try, but here's the real path to cult status, engage your audience. So basically this wrote a whole LinkedIn post for us. And then this is the original post that was created here, just so we have it for reference. And then this is the image that ChatGPT created, which again is based off of the image from the original post, but is now a little bit more reflective of the post that we actually created in our own tone of voice. So we can post this just straight to LinkedIn, have a better chance of going viral because it's already based off of things that have worked before. And then again, we just have something that we would actually set this to run on a schedule, grab the image from the URL, and then post this straight to LinkedIn.
And my fourth automation, I love this one. This is a micro SaaS automation. So basically I turned N8N into a full blown app that you can use on the web like this. And it's very, very simple to use. The point of it is you just take a URL and then you get viral LinkedIn posts out the other side. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and click execute workflow. And then I'm gonna come over to YouTube here and I'm just gonna copy the YouTube link. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paste this in here and click generate posts. And if we come back over to N8N, you can see we're actually getting the transcript from the YouTube video. We're using this code node to just clean it up because it comes in this weird like split format. You can see we have every line kind of broken up, but now we just kind of consolidated it into one transcript. From there, we're going over to the LinkedIn writer to write three posts for us based off of the viral frameworks that we've already discussed. And here we're just pulling in the original transcript. And then again, we're just giving it the system prompt to kind of analyze for unique insights, emotional moments, actionable content, quotable moments, or things like that. And then it's going to go ahead and read through it. And the first post is going to have a con contrarian or controversial angle. The second post is going to be hyperbolic or dramatic. So it's just going to be like kind of extreme. And then the third post is just going to be really strategic and clear and clean, right? So the idea is to give you three options for posts that you can use. And then we have some information on how to craft strong hooks, how to write the core message of the, of the post and things like that. And then again, end with a CTA to get people to engage with your content. And then from there, it's just responding back to the webhook. So if I come back over to the page here, you can see we actually have three LinkedIn posts all ready to go. And we can literally just copy any single one of these or all three of these, post these to LinkedIn, save them in a database, schedule them for later, whatever you want to do. So unpopular opinion, serving everyone will bankrupt you. So these are four automations that I personally sold to clients. And if you want to build systems like this, you can hop into my community. You can get access to all four of these builds right now. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want even more content on how to automate your social media using AI agents, check out this video right here.